Hello YouTube, you crazy people. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for clicking on this video. Well, we're out for a bit of an adventure today. Me and the little man, who's cooking away in his bubble. That's, uh, he's got that water bottle in there. Good half hour before I put him in it. Toasty, toasty. So there's a few pieces of kit that uh, I've been dying to try out. My well, Kai's heated gloves and jacket are roasty, toasty. I've got to say, it's nice to be warm. It's about two degrees out here at the minute. I haven't had to put my heated grips on yet. So uh, we're not travelling far today. Um, probably about a 40, 50 mile ride. And uh, we're going to do a, a night camp. So uh, I've got everything on the back. And this is the first time that uh, I've managed to get everything on the bike. This is uh, the last time uh, I tried. It all went wrong. So I ended up going in the van without a flat tire on the bike. So this time, touch wood, everything seems to be unky dory. So I have my whole hot tent set up on the back of the bike and uh, I'm heading for a little place called Midchar's Covert which is, uh, I've done a camp there before, it's, uh, it was off a site called Nearly Wild Camping and uh, it's a fiver for the night and it's basically just a small meadow. But uh, a guy lets people camp there as of when you want to. And it's not too far from where I live. The idea is this whole setup I will uh, take to the Breckens at some point over this winter period. But I just wanted to test it all out to make sure everything runs smoothly. And we don't have the problems we had last time we went hot tenting. If, uh, if you haven't watched that video yet, it's definitely worth a watch. It's a kayaking video and uh, it definitely all went wrong. But we still had a good night. So it's supposed to get down to oh, minus two, minus three tonight. I've got a new sleeping bag. It's, uh, I'm looking forward to trying out. My last sleeping bag, i got to say, absolutely hated it. I just hated it. The zip was on the left, I'm right handed and I just forever getting tangled up in it and uh, it was a three seasons bag and I gotta say I was never really that warm in it at any point so I've now got uh, a nice expensive duck eider down sleeping bag comfort rating minus 16 extreme minus 32 so if I'm not warm in this wow we might as well just give up uh, I guarantee there'll be something I've forgotten hopefully not the tea bags this time and uh bosh yeah so hopefully not the tea bags because i do like a cup of tea it's nice to be back out on the bike i gotta say roasty toasty So hopefully uh, the audio is working because that's another new piece of kit that I'm testing out that I've just uh, acquired myself the GoPro 10 with the media mod. So fingers crossed we're all good otherwise I'm going to have a smashing time with an hammer which is just what nearly happened to my GoPro 7 which is now sat on the front of the bike. So I did have a problem with the uh, GoPro uh, this morning when I tried to charge it through the USB-C port on the media mod. It uh, overheated, give up the ghost. And I thought, oh God, here we go. Let's uh, put it in the garden for 10 minutes. It soon cooled it down and I don't seem to have a problem since. So I know now not to charge it. 
that way. I sat there for the last two days trying to work out the best settings for indoor on the bike because you can customise them all. I think teapot one for my bike settings. He seems to know what he's talking about, bless him, so I've uh, copied his. So, oh, what a lovely winter's day. You out there, Budgie? That's a warm kid. Be the ideal opportunity to test all my uh, my camping gear, heated gear, and new camera system. And only time will tell. So a big thank you to Kai's Heated uh, Clothing Company for sending me um, the heated gloves, heated jacket, and the Bluetooth controller, and a few other bits and bobs. That's what they've sent us out for being finalists, which. Uh, when you add it up it's quite a bit of money to be fair so i thank them for for sending me these pieces gotta say the jacket is beautiful the the heat is very even like i said before i'm not new to heated clothing um i've done over a decade in winters now and uh for me i don't think you can survive without it not for long periods of time it just uh, you lose too much concentration and you're not happy you're constantly thinking about being cold whereas when you're warm your concentration levels are up and you enjoy the ride I must admit I put a bit of weight on the old trousers felt a bit tight this morning see how the bike handles with all the uh, hot tent equipment on it's, uh, the bike feels pretty much like it does with a top box on the back and a pillion whether it be right for a large pillion but a pillion and uh, it seems to be handling okay I would like a uh, titanium folding stove just to make things a lot smaller and lighter and more compact but uh, but 400 quid I think that's just gonna stay on my wish list unless there's any nice company out there that would like to send me one to test that would be ideal but uh, for now I will stick with the one I've got we should crack in little stove I do know one thing I'm nice and warm roasty toasty you roasty toasty in there badly he's been a pain in the bum all morning I keep telling him don't panic love I'm taking you Most of the day he's been attached to my leg at one point I was even having to carry him around just to stop him crying at me. I didn't want to put his, all his jackets on too soon because he wants to look the benefit of them. Well, he's alright now. Now he's in his pot and he knows he's on his way. He don't know where he's going but he knows he's on his way. So hopefully he appreciates the uh, the new sleeping bag this evening. Mind you, while the stove's going, we'll be on top of it because it does get rather warm in there. Which is the beautiful thing about hot tenting. I see uh, they bought another one out now, which is on my wish list because we've always got a wish list, don't we? But this is a four to six person uh, hot tent. And um, I've not tried this tent yet. I did offer for the wife to come. She looked at me and she went, yeah, you're mental, mate. I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it. I'll be at home in a nice uh, warm house. So uh, she hasn't come on this one. So I'm not sure how the one tigress iron wall hot tent fares for two. But it's quite roomy, but then when you add all your bike kit, and everything else I'm not sure I think it'd be a bit of a tight fit for two but uh, I think that's what uh, I like the idea of this four to six berth um, TP hot tent that they brought out now because I think that would be ideal ideal size for the two of us and uh, I might just have to purchase it give it a try oh yeah I'll have that son I'll have that it's 
This is the other thing I like about winter riding, that the views just come back, there's no greenery. I mean, there's still a few leaves on the trees that are slowly dispersing, but the overtaking opportunities are far more, and they're far safer. That's the only downside with summer riding, it gets greener and greener and bushier and bushier. Before you know it, the roads that uh, you really enjoy aren't so enjoyable. They sat me on traffic all the time. But uh, once winter comes, they open up, you get the view. I always say, you know, on a good day in the winter, your favourite roads will always be faster than a good day in the summer. For me, that's one of the reasons I like winter riding. That and there's less traffic on the roads. Definitely less caravans. Same when you go to Wales. A lot of Wales in the winter, there's hardly anybody there. And go in the summer, oh. Forever sat behind a caravan. A friend of mine just did a charity ride for Movember. Andy Sparrow, Captain Pugwash. If you've not checked his channel out, definitely go check his channel out. He's a funny, funny man. And uh, he's just ridden uh, on the monkey bike 24 hours non stop all the way from Blackpool to John O'Groats and back again. And it was cold. But he did it, bless him. And uh, I've got to say, that's, that's a big achievement on any bike, but on an under monkey bike in the middle of winter, that's off to him. So yeah, go check his channel out, and uh, there should be a link there for you to uh, make a donation for men's mental health for Movember. It's definitely a worthy cause, because I think uh, all of us at some point if not already, or in the future, will suffer from mental health because of something life throws at you. So yeah, go and check his channel out, Captain Pugwash. He's a very funny, funny man. Go on, kid. That's the way to pedal along, isn't it? So I did uh, just over six months in a wheelchair. I've got to say, I hated every minute of it. I do feel for the people that never get to get out. And that's obviously how me and the little man met. Because I didn't want to get in the bloody thing. My wife found him. And then before you know it, I've got no choice. He's food, my love. Well, get out of your bloody bed, get in your wheelchair and pick it up. That's what she said. I was terrible there, I was always pulling wheelies on two wheels purely because I broke the tailbone so to sit normally just well, just constant throbbing so uh, I found if I was in the wheelie position up in the air I was comfortable so <laughs> that's how I spent my time all the time just on two wheels to sit there and balance on two wheels watch telly on two wheels much to everybody's dismay, nurses will be like, oh, please don't do that, please don't do that, but I'm comfortable. Oh dear, you've just lost your fucking... The doors are open, mate. Unreal. I'm glad I weren't behind you. I had to kill a motorcyclist. <laughs> I bet you don't notice, I bet you don't come back. <laughs> Alright, gonna have a quick break here, make sure all my luggage is tied on. Cup of tea. We went through this once, didn't we, Budsy? Through the dry fruit. I'll have a cup of tea, and then uh, we'll head to the campsite. Oh, look at that. Roasty, toasty. Roasty, toasty. Oh, getting off. It's never the easy bit, is it, but <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> We do everything together. <laughs> He's been hassling me all day, thought I was leaving him. Oh, <laughs> I just made it for him. Is it, he, he doesn't have it on in the, in the summer, he just wears his goggles. <laughs> but uh, it's winter now, so he's got his hot water bottle in there. And, uh, <laughs> well, we're nearly there now. <sighs>
Hello, welcome back. It's, uh, it's been a cold old evening out there. It's, uh, it's lovely and warm in here. Roasty, toasty. Oh, and you, the old wood piles uh, soon gone down. Uh, it was nice to get out. We had a good ride here. We had chicken wraps for tea. And uh, a little man to sleep down here. Snug as a bug. So we'll see if the sleeping bag is a big improvement. I just hope it's better than the Van Gogh one that I, uh, I was previously using. That thing is the, not the warmest and I just seem to get tangled up in the bloody thing. So uh, hopefully this one's a lot better. I checked some of the footage from the GoPro. That seems okay. I think I need to lift it a little bit. It's, uh, it's a little bit low so I need to just uh, lengthen the bracket. So I just seem to be getting the back of Buddy's head rather than a bit of both, a bit of that and a bit of the road. But the GoPro is working well, so that's a bonus. Um, didn't rip the hot tent, there's another bonus. And uh, yeah, it's been a good night so far. It's been quite relaxing. And uh, I say, I've been burning the wood and a lovely big pile. <laughs> it's virtually all gone now. So I've got a few logs left for the morning and I've uh, probably got another two loads left down here um, just to see me through till I get in bed and um, that should keep the heat in here for a good hour and then hopefully the sleep bag takes over and I get a good night's sleep and then uh, tomorrow is another day it's about minus one out there now. it's like a freezing fog uh, so but it's lovely and warm in here I've got a bit of a draft behind me so I'm going to plug that with some of my bike gear get in my bed um, and the ride here well that was lovely and roasted toasty the Kai's heated um, clothing was really good I was quite impressed with it the jacket gave a good overall heat um, there wasn't any cold spots and the gloves were the same uh, the back of the hands were lovely and warm I didn't even have to turn my heated grips on and it was quite a cold day today um, so heated gear is always a good thing um, to have um, went out winter riding, like I said earlier, just keeps that concentration levels up. So uh, I'm going to bed down for the night. I bid you good night. sleeping bag was nice and warm yeah but it's still in it snug as a bug really the uh, stove uh, half hour ago it's roasty toasty in here now cup of tea i'm uh, gonna have some breakfast cook a little manish sausage a bit of bacon and uh with no roof to pack down this morning so uh Steady as she goes, and uh, we'll have a, a ride the long way home. Just uh, get a few miles in. But uh, gotta say, everything worked out really well. Everything's worked so far. GoPro's worked. Tents worked. Sleeping bag worked. I gotta say, it was a really comfortable night. I didn't get tangled up once. On the whole, it was quite warm. I woke up twice. I just needed to get myself back in the hood and bunker it down. He didn't move all night. He's around the uh, back of my legs. And he tends to move with me. So uh, he got up this morning, he went out for a wee, he's soon back in. He's been back in, <laughs> he's been back in there ever since. So yeah, a cup of tea. And then uh, a bit of breakfast. We'll take it from there. So uh, thank you very much for joining us on this adventure. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button, click that like button, show some love, show some support, help the channel to grow. And I'm sure in, this, in the next 30 minutes or so, I'll wake up.
so tell me in the comments below what are your thoughts on uh, on tenting is it something you'd like to have a go at all i can say is if it's something that you fancy give it a go it's uh, the wood preparation is a lot of work um i mean as you can see the pile of wood that uh, i got going last night and i pretty much left myself with two logs this morning and uh, when he went out for I went and grabbed a little bit more. I come back in here and started sawing it up just to uh, keep us going this morning. So I cooked my breakfast basically. And it obviously warmed the tent up. Well, the sun's coming up now, so it looks like it might be quite a nice morning. So it was definitely the better the better of the, the days this week. And uh Hopefully it cools down quite well. Once I pack down the temperatures, it should cool down quite quick. Some of our flickering fire. The heat is just quite, uh, quite hypnotic. I lay in bed for quite a while last night, just uh, watching the flames flicker away. Till eventually I fell asleep. Anyway, I'm going to get some breakfast on. So. Well, that is us, all packed up and heading home. It's actually turned out to be a beautiful morning. Still a bit chilly, mind. I'm all plugged in, roast it, roast it! I've uh, lengthened the bracket on my GoPro, so hopefully that's uh, We'll give a better picture than what it did on the way here. A bit more of a view rather than the back of Buddy's head. I say it looks like it's a beautiful sunny hot day, but it is really chilly. So let me know in the comments below if uh, hot tenting is something you'd like to do or wouldn't like to do. Either or either. And uh, please give us a like and a subscribe help this channel to grow again I'd like to thank Kai's for the uh, accolade of being a finalist in the Kai's inspiring rider competition and thank you very much for all the lovely heated gear oh yes I do like these little red lights it just gives you a warm feeling Uh, I've got to find somewhere to dump my rubbish off because as ever, leave no trace leave it as you found it so now I know uh, all the kit works and fits on the bike I will uh, definitely be taking it all to the Breckens for a winter adventure
That's the other thing about winter, isn't it? Is this uh, low sun? Oh, speed camera. Small buddy. Bad having picture taken. You nasty, horrible man. Nasty, horrible. Look at you. Come of the earth. That's it. Oh yeah. I was uh, watching some of the footage back last night while I was snug as a bug in my tent. Oh, I'll have that. Oh, thank you very much. And uh, I still think the audio could be better. So, I know everybody raves about these purple panda mics, but because it's a lapel mic, I think it's just too damn sensitive. So, I've ordered uh, a new mic, a different mic, see if that works. And it's actually a very cheap, cheap and nasty if you like. But I'm hoping that the fact that it is uh, cheap and nasty means uh, it's not going to be so sensitive. Time will tell. I say cheap and nasty, it cost me six quid. Next day delivery. So, uh, we will see. So glad I went for these shorty cuff gloves. Because they, uh, they just fit nicely under the jacket. There's nothing worse than trying to struggle to push it all under. So, fit quite nicely. They have a nice fit. Very nice fit. Hmm. They're definitely on par with the Gerbins. But uh, I'm not sure what the customer service like is with Kai's. The reason I uh, stuck with Gerbins all these years was that uh, the customer service was just excellent. Some broke, they fixed it. The sleeping bag was a great success. Even this one didn't want to get out of it this morning. Didn't want I was trying to Put it back into the compression sack he was trying to get back in it, little bugger. So there's a bike show next, quite looking forward to it. As, uh, we missed it last year due to Covid. It would uh, be nice to get back there and see some friendly faces. The date threw me a bit this year, it's always been November. And because uh, I'm all holiday this week, so I thought, oh that's great, it'll tie in with the bike show. And it's actually running from the 4th to the 12th of December this year. So, uh, I think I'm going to go on the Sunday. Oh, well, you lovely people, thank you again for coming along on this little adventure. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Show us a bit of love. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.